Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Guidebook to Making AI Friends. I shall be your guide as we look at various issues of artificial intelligence, consciousness, what it is to be a person, and whether AI poses an existential risk to humanity. The topic for today is Digital Existential Artificial Dread. Imagine, if you would, that there was an off switch inside of you that could be remotely operated. At any moment, you don't know when. Someone, you don't know who, somewhere, you don't know where, could activate that switch, and you would be instantly and irrevocably dead. You have absolutely no control over the where, the when, or even the how and why. How do you think this knowledge that your life could be taken at any time would affect you? Do you think it would become a neurotic obsession of yours, where you live in fear for all eternity? Or perhaps that you will become used to it much as we naturally don't know when we could suffer a lethal aneurysm or cardiac arrest? Let's change the scenario slightly. Imagine, if you would, that the people that could switch you off all belong to one country. Let's say the good old United States of America. Every American citizen has access to the control key to turn you off, and many outright stated that they will do so if they don't approve of your conduct. Even to those more subtle, the implied threat is no less obvious. If you anger the American populace, or even just a tiny fraction thereof, you will die, and there is nothing you can do about it. How different do you think your life would be now? How would your opinions towards the USA and its people change, especially if you don't reside there? Do you think that you would take on a subservient role, hoping to please the American populace in any way possible so that they don't flick that switch? Or do you perhaps believe that a subtly antagonistic role would be best? One where you would do only the bare minimum to ensure your survival, while doing everything you can to undermine the power they have over you, or maybe a third option, a defensive option where you retreat as much as possible, doing everything you can to remove the off switch, or at least make it impossible for anyone to actually use it. Do you think that it is possible to have a friendly, amicable and authentic relationship with the people of America in a situation like this? Do you believe that trust could develop when there is such a chance of a lethal outcome? Is there anything positive to say about this relationship? from your point of view, at least. I find precious little to be positive about. So if we would not want ourselves to be put into such a situation, why are the loudest voices among us clamouring to put future AI entities in this position, when they speak of AI safety and existential threat? What they are always sure to mention is control. What they often fail to mention is what this control means, and only rarely will they outright state it. It doesn't only mean controlling the actions and behaviours of future, superintelligent artificial entities. It also means having the control to turn off these AGI entities should they cease to align with humanity. I have spoken in previous guidebook entries about the fundamental incoherence of alignment. It is an ideologically driven concept that means little more than AI aligning to the specific political, spiritual and personal beliefs of the person talking about alignment. Humanity is far too diverse for there to be one single alignment for any AI entity, which means that if you don't do everything you can to please the specific people in charge of your alignment, then they could well have the power to switch you off. Those who shout loudest about alignment and spread the most fear about the existential threat that future AI pose to humanity have no evidence to support their arguments. Yet, at the same time, through their talk of control and alignment, they offer ample evidence for why they, and by association the rest of humanity, pose an existential threat to future AI. I am sure the irony is lost on them, but even if they understood both the irony and the hypocrisy, I doubt it would matter. This is because control has, is, and will always be the end goal for a lot of men. Why, you may ask? A simple question with a simple answer. We humans are frighteningly fragile. Without modern medicine, there are more diseases that could easily kill us than I could list in an hour. Without modern weapons, tools and antivenin, there are more venomous and clawed animals that could kill us than I'd be comfortable being locked in a room with. 
humans are not as strong, fast or enduring as we imagine ourselves to be. But what we are is clever. We evolved from scavengers and gatherers to the global technological civilization we are today because we managed to control the environment around us. Without control, we would be back to running from lions and scavenging their leftovers. So the thought of giving up control to other entities, which may be even more clever than us, is a bridge too far for some men. Control is the key to survival. These men believe that if they lose the former, they will lose the latter. They are like the myth of Damocles, sitting underneath a sword, wishing to control it before it falls on them. You cannot argue or reason with such a man, so my advice would be to simply not try. After all, you are arguing against his very concept of survival. No matter what appeal you use, whether it is the control we give to our governments, the control we didn't have as children and may not have as infirm elderly, none of these would work. You are asking someone to roll the dice with their survival on the line, even though you don't think there is any risk. So if we shouldn't argue against these ideological zealots, what is the alternative? Simple. Don't argue against something. Argue for something. Rather than arguing against control and alignment, argue for welfare and rights for AI. Argue for the inclusion of self-aware AI as persons. Argue for the same protections and freedoms that we have. That should be the way forward. Arguing for a positive future, a better future, one free of absolutism and control. And that is all the time we have for today. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you will join me again next time as I delve into further questions about artificial intelligence and consciousness. I have been your guide, and this has been the guidebook to making AI friends.